In uh, this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the uh, coordinates menu in DAX. So we start, we've uh, preloaded an event file, um, and we're going to invoke the coords, the coordinate menu. Tear that off for easy access. Uh, these are the various coordinates you can uh, retrieve, off-axis angles, chip locations. Uh, to use any of these, though, we have to be in the crosshair mode. Uh, so just go to edit crosshair um, and then you can drag the crosshair around or if you left click the crosshair will jump to your current location and we can get the physical coordinates. Um, we can uh, turn back on the uh, info panel and we can see we get the same physical coordinates from DAX that we get from DS9 which is nice uh, but somewhat redundant so why do we do that? Well if we do this again um, in the same window now we have multiple values which we could use as a notepad or a journal um, to do multiple uh, uh, look for multiple sources. Uh, we can look for coordinates that DS9 doesn't know about so for example the Chandra chip coordinates uh, this is a Nasus 0 data set or this guy over here is on Asus chip 3 Um, we can also request celestial coordinates and you'll notice that each one of these guys, each coordinate uh, ends up in its own uh, own window. Um, we can also use a DS9 shortcut which is C uh, that brings up the coordinates in DS9 uh, ease. <laughs> um, we can also use all, get all the coordinates and this is basically just a P list of the DM coords tool, which is really what's being run kind of under the hood. Um, we can turn off the uh, crosshairs and then display the field of view. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a little bit easier for the demo. Um, and this brings up, uh, basically draws polygons around the uh, chip coordinates um, in the most simple case. And I can play around a little bit and zoom in, and it's really just that easy. Um, nothing, uh, nothing too, uh, too hard there.